I'm Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. And this is the final episode in a series on this 1961 VW Beetle. Today's episode is just going to be uh, an overview of the conversion as well as a test drive. So we'll just do a quick walk around here and we can see that it uh, you know, it's been lowered a few minor modifications it's got the stock bumper set up it doesn't have the cutouts for the exhaust so someone had done a few things to it but for the most part it's just a good looking old bug. So let's take a look at the uh, the interior first and then we'll take a look at things under the bonnet so forth. So there's the dash. Looks just like it did when we received the car. Nothing's changed. There was a uh, big speaker box behind the seat. Now there's a battery box. It's actually smaller than the speaker box was. Get in here. So, I mean, there you have it. I mean, it's... So, what is different is in the glove box is where we have our instrumentation as per the customer's request. When we turn on the ignition, we see that we have, which was I believe the original generator light come on just to let us know that the system's on. Of course our gauges all come to life. The inverter and the DC to DC converter are consuming 1.6 amps from our traction pack. The Curtis 840 display default is the RPM setting and we can see that uh, our DC to DC converter is working. Here's the menu set switch for scrolling through the settings or the display on the 840 and a power port which was already in the glove box when we received the vehicle. Now as shown in an earlier video we have a covered switch down here flip that and we're going to pull the switch towards us or towards the rear and when we do the oil pressure light comes on and that's just a reminder that it's in reverse. We shut this, push it forward, the light goes off, we're back and forward. So, that's it on the interior. Let's look under the bonnet. Well, under the bonnet, we have a front battery box. We have our main disconnect switch. We have our J1772 charge port. We have an inertia switch and we have a 3.3 kilowatt charger. Behind the panel, as you'll see in previous videos, we have a little relay and fuse uh, board with all the fuses for our you know, conversion uh, just behind that panel. So that's the front. Let's take a look at the engine bay. The engine bay, we have our relay and terminal strips uh, on the left of our main component board and then we have our controller uh, cooling Reservoir on the right, we have the AC50 
motor from high performance electric vehicle systems, the Curtis 1238 SE. Of course, you can see the main contactor, the shunt, and the throttle right there. Everything is very <laughs> up front. And we provide the customer with um, detailed documentation on the conversion. All your, you know, what each one of those terminal connections comes from and goes to. Um, component legends. Everything somebody would ever need to modify, repair, or do whatever. So that's the walk around of this 61 VW Beetle. So next, let's let's take her for a spin.